Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sebelius and FamilyTravelPhotos.com. This episode takes a closer look at the curved cable cam function of the Typhoon H. This episode is part of a series of videos designed to help you fly your unique drone. This episode applies specifically to the Typhoon H Hexacopter. Let's get started with this episode, Curved Cable Cam, A Closer Look. Curved Cable Cam is an exciting function of the Typhoon H. Curved Cable Cam, or CCC, allows you to record a series of locations or waypoints to create a route. Then you can have the H fly that route autonomously, backwards and forwards as many times as you'd like. You can set it to control all aspects of the flight, or you can let the H fly the route while you manage the camera. I've seen several videos that cover curved cable cam, but many questions remain about what you can and can't do with this function. I flew more than 20 test flights with my brother and son and my friend Andrew to check out the capabilities of CCC and discover what it can and can't do. Those test flights are the basis for this video. Let's get started with the basics. How do you use Curve Cable Cam? Your first step is to activate the advanced mode on your transmitter so you can access the task functions. Tap System Settings and choose Other Settings. Change the advanced mode setting to on, then hit return or back out to the main screen. You should only have to do this once, and not each time you plan to use any of the task functions. We're ready for our flight. Note that I've got my two gimbal switches to their top settings, and I'm in rabbit mode. I'm also in angle mode, but that doesn't affect the curved cable cam function. Hit the task slash camera button in the lower right corner of your screen. Five functions will be displayed on screen. Choose the CCC function. Instructions pop up. Read through them or skip. You are now presented with a row of buttons for your curved cable cam function. Let's create our route. Fly to the position of your first waypoint, adjust your direction and the camera tilt, and hit the plus sign. You will see Waypoint 1 show up on the left side of the screen. Fly to the spot for your second waypoint. In this case, I went up in altitude, rotated the aircraft, and tilted the gimbal down. Hit the plus sign. Fly to the third waypoint. In this case, I went up in altitude rotated the aircraft and tilted the gimbal up. Hit the plus sign. Fly to the fourth waypoint and do it again. In this case, I went down in altitude, rotated the aircraft, and tilted the gimbal all the way down. Hit the plus sign. Now, if I hit the delete button, it will erase the last waypoint I recorded. If I hit reset, it wipes out all the waypoints and I can start recording them over again. Note, 
Unique's instruction video says that you should make your waypoints at least 16 and a half feet apart. The user manual says 25 feet apart. We're done setting our waypoints. I'm only recording four of them for this flight. You can record many more on your flight. The maximum number hasn't been published yet. When you're finished recording your waypoints, if you think you might want to use this route again, hit save and give your route a name, then hit done. We're ready to see the curved cable cam function in action. Hit the start button and slide the slider all the way to the right. The aircraft flies automatically to its first waypoint and stops. Notice it has rotated and tilted the gimbal to match its settings when I first set waypoint. To start the route, push the left stick forward slowly and hold it until the aircraft starts to move. Now the H is flying my route. Notice that it's changing altitude, rotating and even tilting the gimbal to match my settings for each waypoint. I'm flying this in rabbit mode, but notice it's traveling much slower than rabbit mode typically goes. This flight maxed out at 10 miles per hour. Now the H has reached its last waypoint. It stops and waits for your command. Let's change the speed on the slider to turtle and send it on a reverse course. Hold the left stick back until the H begins its reverse course. This flight went about 7 miles per hour. If you want a smooth CCC flight, Turtle will definitely give you that, but you'll have to be patient because it's very slow. The H is now back at its first waypoint. Are you finished with your CCC route? Just hit the exit button and tap the camera task button to remove the button row from your screen. Want to repeat that same route later on? Just enter CCC mode, hit list, and select the name for your flight from the list. Those are the basics of using curved cable cam. Now I'm going to offer three warnings and then answer several questions that many have about this feature. While flying CCC, pay attention to altitude. I found that flying the same route back and forth caused the H to lose altitude at its waypoints. If one of your waypoints is close to the ground, be sure that the H doesn't slip down far enough to crash. Second warning. Let's say you're flying a CCC route around a tree. You set up your first point to the right the second point to the middle, and the third point to the left. Now you're at the third point and you're ready to begin your route. You hit the start button and move the slider. Imagine your surprise when the H flies directly into the tree. When you start a CCC route, the H will fly in a straight line back to its first waypoint, regardless where you have it placed. Make sure your H has a clear line of sight from its current position to the first waypoint. Unique made starting a CCC flight a two-step process. Hit start and then do the slider to give you a good reminder about this very issue. My third warning, be sure to name your flight so you recognize what and where each one was. Imagine recording a flight in Dallas and then accidentally starting it while you're in Fort Worth. Actually, I spoke with someone from Unique and they said that if the point that you are trying to fly to is outside of the range of the aircraft, it will disregard your command to start that flight. That said, the point is made. You don't want to trigger a flight where the aircraft behaves unpredictably. Use good descriptive names for your saved flights so you never trigger a route that was recorded at another location. Now, let's clear up several questions that people have about how curved cable cam works. Let's start with speed and direction. As I showed earlier, you can affect the speed of your CCC route by setting your speed slider before you begin. Can you change the speed during your flight? 
No, you can't. Once you start your flight, you're committed to that speed unless you stop the flight or complete the route. Once you finish the route, you can change the speed setting and begin a new flight with your route at the new speed. Can you stop your flight in mid-course? Yes, there is a pause button on the button row that will pause your flight at any point in the route. You can restart the route by hitting the play button. What about direction? Can you change directions in mid-flight? You can't deviate from the recorded route unless you exit the flight, but you can reverse your course by pushing up or pulling back on the left stick. Finally, can you change your altitude during flight? No, you can't change the altitude of your waypoints during flight. Now let's talk about the two gimbal switches, the tilt slider and the pan control knob. The tilt mode switch to the far left is easy. It does nothing while you're flying a CCC route. Same thing with the tilt slider and the pan control knob. They don't function during a CCC flight either. Okay, how about pan mode, the second switch from the left? Changing this switch can affect how your H performs on its CCC route. If you have the pan mode switch in the top or middle setting, you can't change the camera direction from the waypoint's recorded positions. Your flight will run its course, turning the H and tilting the camera just as you specified while setting the waypoints. However, if you push this switch all the way down to its global setting, you have two new capabilities to play with. First, if you push the switch down and fly the route, the camera will lock onto the direction it was pointing at the beginning of the flight. If your recorded waypoints included rotations of the H or tilts of the gimbal, those will be ignored by the camera and gimbal. The aircraft will turn in those directions as you record it, but the camera will spin on its gimbal so it will continue to stay pointed at the same direction. Watch this example. The aircraft is rotating in different directions as I directed when recording the waypoints, but the camera is spinning on its 360 degree gimbal to continue pointing at the same spot. I left the landing gear down so you can easily see what it's doing. Frankly, I'm not sure how often I would use this capability. But the second new capability might be more useful. With the gimbal pan mode switched down to the global position, you can rotate the camera however you'd like during the flight, not by using the gimbal pan knob, but by pushing your right stick left and right. You can also control the tilt of the camera by pushing the right stick up or down. To sum it up, recording a CCC route captures the location, direction you're pointing, and tilt of your gimbal for each waypoint. You can choose your speed by setting your speed slider before you start each flight. Once the flight starts, you can't change speed. You can't change the altitude or location of any waypoint during the flight. If your gimbal mode switch is in the top or middle position, you can't change much of anything during your flight. The H is going to fly the route you designed and point the camera where you had it pointed. If your gimbal switch is in the bottom position, it will ignore the camera direction you recorded for each waypoint and will rotate the gimbal to stay pointed at the spot where it was pointing when you first started your flight. Also, with the gimbal pan switch in the bottom position, you can control the direction of the camera by pushing the right stick left or right. You can also control the tilt of the camera by pushing the right stick up or down. This concludes this episode of my video series for unique Q500 and Typhoon H owners. I've also posted links to other tutorial videos below. Be sure to watch those to learn more about flying your unique drone. Please help me by hitting the like button below. It also helps if you subscribe and you'll be notified when I release more videos in the future. Your comments and ideas for future videos are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.